even though he graduated from Florida State University three years ago, I'm told Michael Ojo was the kind of guy who still called his former coaches and teammates on Christmas Day. He still remembered people's birthdays. As big as Michael Ojo was on the basketball court, his heart was even bigger. He was just so kind, and um, he just wouldn't hurt a fly, you know. He was a gentle giant. You couldn't miss Michael Ojo. He was seven foot one and wore a size 21 shoe. You could put both of my shoes end to end and they would be 21, size 21, you know, Nikes. Uh, the biggest shoe I've ever seen. But it was his smile and his big heart that really stood out. He had this magnetic personality that just drew people in all the time. He cared so much about his teammates, his coaches, his family and really even the Tallahassee community at large. After graduating from Florida State with a master's degree in 2017, Michael played professional basketball overseas, where he collapsed on Friday in Serbia during a practice and later died. For those that knew him, it's a life lost way too soon. If you knew Michael, you loved Michael. That's just the bottom line. Um, I know it's cliche, but he really was a one-of-a-kind kind of personality. His character and his integrity and his emphasis on just really making the most of what he had, what he was, what he worked hard for. I'm sad to hear that uh, Mike Ojo, number 50 in your program, number one in your heart, has passed away at just age 27. Say your prayers because you never know when it's going to happen. I had the chance to cover Michael Ojo for two years at Florida State. I remember the first time I met him, I was blown away by how big he was. But he was always willing to sit down and talk to us, answer all our questions, and he always had that big smile on his face. Michael Ojo was 27 years old. In Tallahassee, Allison Posey, ABC, 27.